the next thing that i want to explain here is uh, the utility bills tab okay so you can see right now this tab is not active it says to enable this tab you must go to the overview sub tab and select a weather file which already have done and select a calendar year which makes sense right if you want to provide some weather file information or actually sorry utility bill information you need to provide the year like which year do you want to run for your simulation okay so i've already provided weather file here let's click on this select year bio let's say i have a uh, utility data for um let's say for 2017 okay for my last year and that's it uh do you want to uh, turn on daylight savings time yes you can totally do this okay uh, i mean i'm going to click off for now because it won't make a huge difference in my model and uh, what i can do i can actually uh, provide some utility data again why you want to provide a utility data for your model well, this utility bill data won't be valid for your new construction, so you need, you need not to worry about it. In case you are trying to uh, create an energy model for existing building, you can always calibrate it. For calibration, you always need to provide some utility data. Uh, if you are an energy modeler or building science specialist, you definitely know this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to provide it. Like just uh, in this electricity utility bill option, click plus rename it uh, what you can do you can either provide yearly data or you can provide monthly data you can provide daily data as well there are different kind of frequency uh, the most preferred one is provide monthly data let's say if i start with something like um, electricity city underscore pgne data because i am in san francisco so electricity electricity is provided by uh, pgne here Consumption unit should be kilowatt hours or make sense peak demand if you want to provide peak, peak demand information Let's say uh, yes, that's a valid unit and then like uh, you can keep this option start date and end date All right, then click on this option add new billing period plus okay the start date is first uh, January 2017 to 31st January Okay, let's provide kilowatt hours. Mm, I don't know uh, 2000 kilowatt hours uh, peak, uh, again there is like you know some problem with my um, uh, display here you can see those uh, units and those displays are moved somehow you just need to fix it in your display mode for your computer but let's not let's not worry about for this now you can provide peak uh, peak as well I mean I'm going to um, if you, I want to calibrate my model just for energy consumption I need not to worry about kilowatt but for now just just do it for for sake cost there is no information uh, needed for cost we just need to calibrate only energy consumption uh, but just for sanity let's provide some information again and uh, keep good doing it for all the months um, okay let's do something really uh, quick quickly here okay I'm just going to put some like you know random data take some time okay and then I can provide new billing data for the rest of the year. Okay, I don't want to spend a lot more time here, but you got the idea how to provide the information for your billing data. Uh, the last bill is from 1st of April to 31st of December. That's not the right approach, but in case you want to cal calibrate it properly, you should provide the data for each and every month or like whatever billing period you have. Okay. All right. And that's it and you can save the model and then move to the next uh, utility like you know if you have some gas data you can also calibrate it for gas okay let's say it's again from BGNE and the unit can be the thumbs CCF um, whatever like I'm I'll, I'll just provide thumbs data because in my house I get all the uh, uh, like I, I got the unit of gas as thumbs. That's what my billing says bill says So let's provide some data same way like you can either provide for year or you can just provide it for a month-to-month -month basis For uh, time sake, I'm just going to provide just one uh, Data for yearly for year for whole year and save the model. Okay, so now we have this calibration uh, I'm sorry the utility bill data and if I run the simulation here again it will show me a new uh, new report actually 
uh, which will have some calibration information. 